Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and today I'm going to talk with you about AP Writing Style. Now AP Writing, also known as Associative Press Writing Style, is a commonly used guideline for journalists and public relations professionals. For many, it can be a source of frustration, as it's very hard to learn right off bat. And one of the most common problems that people face in this is not understanding when to capitalize a formal title. So why don't I take you through some of the guidelines for capitalizing formal titles, and then we'll give you some examples to work with. Okay, so the first of our rules is going to be that formal titles should be capitalized when they directly precede a name. An example of this can be seen in the following phrase. President Abraham Lincoln. So we capitalize the word president because it's followed by the name Abraham Lincoln. And then for the second rule, it's going to be that a title should be lowercase if it stands alone or if it's separated by the name with commas. So an example of this can be seen in this sentence. The president left shortly before the ceremony. So since we have no name after the word president, we're not going to capitalize it anyway. And then the final rule is going to be if a person doesn't currently or permanently hold a title, you're still going to capitalize the name. However, you do not capitalize any adjectives describing the title. This phrase can accurately display this rule. Former President Bill Clinton. So we have the word president capitalized because it's followed by the name Bill Clinton, but we're not going to change the word former in any way. And another important thing to remember is the difference between professional and formal titles. So a formal title is generally related to the scope of authority that someone has. For example, this could be military or religious authority. While professional titles are something like professional or manager that more so shows what they do with their job, these are not necessary to capitalize. So now that you've learned a little bit about some of the formal titles, let's practice with some examples. I'm going to show you guys different kinds of formal titles, and you're going to guess if they're correctly or incorrectly capitalized. Alright guys, so I've got three sentences here to show you. All of them use titles in them. We're going to be taking a look at them and you're going to be given a second to think about whether or not these have been correctly or incorrectly capitalized according to AP style. So for your first sentence, it's the sheriff called a meeting with his deputies. The word sheriff acts as the title in this sentence and it is capitalized. So go ahead and take a second to think about if this is correct or incorrect. All right. I hope you got this one, but this one is actually incorrect. The term sheriff is not followed by any name, and it is therefore a standalone title. It should not be capitalized in this situation. For your second sentence, it's going to be, President Jimmy Carter was born in Georgia. So president is going to be the title in this sentence, and it's actually capitalized again. So go ahead and take a second to think about if that's correct or not. Okay guys, this one is actually correct. This is the correct use of the word president. Um, the name Jimmy Carter follows the word president and therefore it should be capitalized in all these situations. Let's move on to the final question. The English professor gave all students extra credit. In this sentence it's important to note that professor is the title and it is uncapitalized. So go ahead and think about that. All right, we may have tricked you on this one, but this is also a correct answer. The term professor is not a formal title, but a professional title. So it's important to remember that all professional titles stay uncapitalized in any context. So this is a correct answer as well.